Okay. It's three now. Wait ten minutes. We're on Icelandic time, so. Is there a mic? Lights underneath the. In the Gucci scarf. Okay. Oh, yeah. I'll start playing some. Hear the sound and him But do you have also the rest? Audio. No, we're just. I'm just getting the. Oh, we should move them up. We'll be really muffled. Yeah, I know. <laughs> For just $67, you can make as many videos as you want, and you never need to pick up a camera. Showing some stuff right now from uh, uh, an artist that uh, has some unreleased stuff on the album, Lewis. I love you. And uh, this is some of his stuff. Can you hear? Yeah, I'm pretty loud.
Okay, let's get started. Thanks everybody for coming. Um, just kind of keep it informal. It'll be a little bit like a, a lecture. Um, try and show some of the videos uh, in its entirety. Maybe I won't. Some of them are quite long. We'll just see how it goes. But uh, yeah, I wanted to say thanks for Alki for uh, kind of making this happen. Um, because it's been a, 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 a dream of mine to do a YouTube folk anthology because I've been collecting sort of outsider YouTube music, uh, well, essentially since YouTube started, which, what was that, 2003, I think? But uh, yeah, so um, I'll, I'll kind of start a little bit about uh, myself. Um, I uh, grew up in a small town in Northern California called Redding. If anybody's heard of Reading, and uh, it was a rough place to grow up. Um, I got bullied a lot in high school, like mercifully, uh, for being the, the the one weirdo in high school. People called me a tree hugger, which I mean, you know, if you can imagine uh, punishing a person for loving nature, just made me love nature even more. Uh, but uh, I was really like an outsider, and uh, it was really a difficult time. There was actually even a lot of. Um, a lot of Confederate holdouts uh, where I grew up. A lot of uh, white priders and Nazis. And I even went to high school with a, a guy whose brother ended up in the Aryan Brotherhood in prison. Uh, these two brothers, uh, Jed and Zeke, Ezekiel and Jedediah. These are these these big uh, white pride guys. So it was it was a rough place to grow up. But um, then I, I found punk rock there. And uh, there was this little punk rock scene that uh, embraced me with open arms. And that was uh, really an amazing moment. I remember going to my first punk show, which was AFI. And, uh, you know, I never really liked AFI. No offense to anybody who likes AFI. But it was an AFI show. And, and, uh, and I remember it was like, it was like, uh, it was like Alice going down the, the rabbit hole. It was like, this is this is in my town, you know, this, this exists and seeing people dressed in Rottweiler collars and this sort of stuff. Um, so, so anyways, I ended up, um, making a band with my friend uh, at the time and it was just a keyboard, him playing keyboard and me singing and it was called the taints. And, uh, you know, I'm like 17 years old and getting into punk, but also getting into, uh, just really weird music. I mean, I was really into, like Ween's early album at the time, early albums at the time, still love Ween. Um, uh, getting into, uh, for instance, like uh, they might be Giants early albums. Getting into uh, uh, the, some of the K Records stuff. Like I remember really loving uh, the song Indian Summer by Beat Happening, and getting into Velvet Underground, of course. And so, r right, right then, really getting into this, you know, sort of outsider kind of music. So anyways, this was our album that we put out when I was 17. The Taints was our name and it's on free music archive. We free music Ar archive. We wrote a song about being in love with uh, princess toadstool in, uh, called Nintendo whore in, in, Nintendo so Let's see if I can remember the lyrics. So this is 1997. Got no cash for 64 bits. Modern technology is the pits. The new chick plays you for a fool. I'm old school. Princess Toadstool. Nintendo whore. Nintendo whore. Nintendo whore. Nintendo whore. Get off from school and have a, have a snack. All I want is a really good whack. Blow on my cartridge. Slide it in. RTV's our only friend. Nintendo whore. Nintendo whore, 
Nintendo whore. Nintendo whore. I'm in love with your 8-bit booty. My love batteries are heavy duty. We save you and we're really bored. But Mario's scores. Sorry, guys. Nintendo whore. Nintendo whore. Anyways, you get the idea. So that's on Free Music Ar Archive. So yeah, so, um, and then and then I went to CalArts and, uh, you know, where I, uh, well, you probably wondered how I ended up on the clacky and uh, I met my wife, Thorbjorg, uh, at CalArts. So I got a degree in film at CalArts where I was hanging out with, of course, artists and musicians at CalArts. And that was a really cool scene at that time. Uh, and uh, that was when Ariel Pink was there before he had his fall from grace from uh, with, you know, his whole sort of uh, trolling uh, pro-Trump stuff. And John Mouse was there. I remember seeing John Mouse's first show, which was totally amazing. Um, and uh, anyways, uh, me and my buddy Christian, who uh, edited the YouTube folk anthology with me, started our own band called Fireworks. And we didn't know how to play our instruments or anything, but we wanted to have the Jimi Hendrix experience, even though we couldn't play guitar and it didn't stop us and so it was just a two-piece same thing singing to background vocals and and a background track i mean and uh and and that was what we what we were doing um at cal arts and our first uh, album was put out by this uh by this weird cal arts label called ball bearings pinata that actually put out ariel pink's first stuff too so anyways um right when sort of youtube hit now this was in okay so this video was uploaded 2006 i think this video has had the most uh views i've of, of anything i've ever done but uh right when um this is of course right when youtube was was starting and uh or a few years you know into the whole youtube craze and uh it, it was right when steve Irwin uh got killed by uh you know he had a a stingray's barb stabbed him in the heart and there was this uh there was this sort of uh, folklore going around, uh, urban folklore going around, that, uh, that, 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 the, that the footage of him dying was on YouTube, which I don't know if that, I think it actually was. I think it was up there for about 24 hours before it got taken down. And uh, anyway, so, so we, this is my buddy Christian, and this is our band, and we ended up changing our name to Flugeldar, which of course is Icelandic for fireworks. We thought that sounded cooler. But um, anyways, uh, this was a song that we did that we sort of made for YouTube in response to the uh, Steve Irwin death footage on YouTube. So this is my buddy Christian, and I'll, I'll play some of this here. Hello, my name is Christian Cummings. I'm here to play a song called For Steve. This is a video that we did together. on YouTube to watch the footage of his death, I would urge you, please do not watch it. Yeah. With an excess of virtue oh. comes an excess of life. Let me see if I can turn up the sound a little bit. I can pay the ultimate price. You love his life. just happened to be his most prominent part. And like a bee who has gathered too much honey. Like a bee that's gathered too much honey. His purpose was to give. His purpose was to give. And urged a thousand times stronger than his will to urged live. a thousand times stronger than his will to live. And like many men and women before like him. Many, many women before him. His legacy will His live legacy on. Will live on. That is the reason. That is the reason. Why I wrote, why I wrote this, this song. An eagle soared through the sky. An eagle soared through the sky. And 
on him there hung a serpent. Not like prey, but like a friend, for she kept herself wound around his neck. These are my animals, said Steve, who was happy in his heart. The proudest animal under the sun, and the wisest animal under the sun. They have gone on a search. They want to determine whether Steve Irwin still lives. Verily I say, do I still live? I found life more dangerous among men than among the animals. On dangerous paths walks Steve. May my animals lead me. You get the idea um but uh but yeah uh you know we, the, the whole thing was this really sort of um expressing yourself in this really uh you know unfiltered earnest way which uh in some ways has sort of become an aesthetic now which uh i, th I also think is is cool but um really that was that was the goal of the band and and here we have we have a couple albums on Free Music Archive. Um, we had this sort of intro that we would play when we would get on stage. Christian's dad um, would um, well, he was the guy. He, he he was the guy who would do all the, uh, the the Hollywood trailers. He was a voice actor in Hollywood, and he would do all the coming soon to a theater near you, which you don't see anymore. But this, so we got him to do. We wrote this poem for him. In a world void of imagination. Where hearts, where hearts have been darkened, have been, have been darkened by, disbelief. by disbelief. It's the it's the natural we soundtrack, you know, the baseball movie with about with this, which is the Percival, you know. We come to you in this sacred place and invite, invite you, you to join, to join with, with us in this feast. In this feast, a feast, a feast of friends. Of friends. I'm reminded of, a of the silver black dolphin. Frolicking along the seashore off the coast of Malibu, of hot air balloons, of Jacques Cousteau and the search for Atlantis. In vision, I see us climbing to the top of Mount Shasta and peering down into the depths of Lemuria. Drinking in, in the majesty of all we, of all see, we see, and the purest, and the purest of, waters. of waters. Coyote, Coyote the, trickster, the trickster, living, living behind, behind our, our house. house. Roswell, Roswell. The, train the train trestle, the yeti's cave. The yeti's cave. The valley, the valley of, a of a thousand rainbows. The pyramids, the pyramids of, Giza. of Giza. Anybody seen The Natural, the baseball movie with Robert Redford? This is amazing. It's based on Percival, you know, the... the, the uh, we are the, the, the um, first kiss we are under the bleachers. The first kiss under the bleachers. Your first kiss under the bleachers. We are, we are the white the light, light at the drive-in. Like a butterfly emerges from its cocoon. We are fireworks. Yeah, so that was our that was the intro that we would play when we would when we would do our and and so then so um yeah so and I've always been interested in like art brew and outsider art um and so one project that I did here a couple years ago was I teach at Minless Art School and, and I work with the uh, disabled artists there and we have a program called Minless de Brat, which they can come, uh, it's a year-long program where they can come and get a diploma. There's also another program called Venestova and 
uh, from working with those guys, um, they were really interested in like working with like pop music and like kind of doing drawings of, of them as like rock stars and stuff. So one project I did a few years ago with List of Landmata, uh, which uh, where we formed a, a an all disabled punk band here and uh, released a seven inch, and uh, all the lyrics and music were were done by them. And and uh, anyways, that's called Gunnar and the Rest first hits. Sadly, we never did the second hits album, but this is a, a sort of this is like a trailer that I did for the seven inch release party. This was a few years ago now, so. And all the artwork was done by them. And Yeah, so this was a really cool project. I, I wish we could have kept going with it, but it just didn't really materialize that way. Um, I was actually uh, definitely inspired by, um, uh, w w with this project uh, at that same, uh, maybe about, uh, I think like six months before I did this project, we had that uh, Finnish punk band come, that All Down Syndrome uh, Finnish punk band, which later, this was before they played... Um, uh, Eurovision, you know. Um, what, what, does anybody know the name of that band? I forget. Do you, uh, you guys all know what I'm talking about. Uh, anyway, so they came and played uh, as part of a festival here, and we got to go backstage with them and meet them, and that was so cool. And then, and then to see them go and 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 play Eurovision, that was just so cool. Um, and they were they were such cool guys. And I guess they, um, I guess they 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 retired. They've been doing it for for a really long time. Um, but anyways, yeah, so, so, so uh, now on to the YouTube folk anthology, just to kind of give you that background of kind of where I'm coming from. Um, so yeah, so it was really inspired by um, this guy, Harry Smith, and does anybody know uh, Harry Smith's uh, folk anthology? He did this six-volume American folk anthology. Does anybody know the work of Harry Smith? Or, yeah, um, he's, there he is, right there. He lived and died in, in Chelsea Hotel. Um, he was a, a big hero of mine, and uh, he'd been collecting um, early American folk music f since he was a teenager, essentially. Um, and I first heard about him through the American Folk Anthology, and I didn't realize at the time that I heard about that, that he was actually an experimental filmmaker. Um, so he, since the 50s, had been making these experimental sort of collage films at the same time. And here's, you can see a lot of these on YouTube, and here's what he calls his early abstractions. And it's these really cool collage films. Um, so, yeah, this is sort of what that stuff is like. Hi highly recommended to check this stuff out. Um, and, uh, yeah, so here's the, um, you know, Wikipedia page on that. And uh, let me pull up the uh, liner notes. Um, so yeah, so 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 the liner notes were these kind of collage. You know, it would come with this collage booklet, and it would have these sort of free association descriptions of the songs and stuff. So, uh, number one, Henry Lee, scoring offer of costly trappings, bird refuses aid tonight, thrown in well by lady. You know, and it would just be these really free association sort of collage text that he would do and this is what that would look like so i sort of based the i even sort of collage some of the stuff from from the liner notes I into this so it was really kind of inspired uh by by that by that work and um another work that he did that's very close to my heart is uh he was working before he died he was this is 1967 he was working on a uh a, a tin man movie uh and those of you guys who know me know that I'm obsessed with the Tin Woodsman of Oz and all things Wizard of Oz. And uh, so this was called The Tin Woodsman Dream, and it's unfinished. It was shot on 35 millimeter, and uh, actually uh, Elizabeth Taylor apparently gave him money for this this film. Uh, so the the still is actually from that from from the 
from the record. Um, and like I said, I'm, I'm very close to, uh, the Tin Man is very close to my heart because um, I had open heart surgery and was born with a congenital heart defect and uh, have sort of been obsessed with the Wizard of Oz ever since. But uh, just to give you some back story, this is uh, me as the Tin Man with my buddy Christian who was singing that song uh, that I just showed. And we're on uh, this, um, well, it's called Let's Paint TV, which is now a, a YouTube page but at the time was a public access show. I noticed that they, Vanity Fair just did a, a whole write-up on the Eric Andre show, and they, they mentioned that, that it was a sort of cross between Let's Paint, like Let's Paint TV and uh, I forget what else they, they mentioned, but they mentioned Let's Paint TV in context of the Eric Andre. But this is what it's like. So I think it might be the case, but... He, he runs on a treadmill and paints and mixed drinks. This one is him running on a treadmill <laughs> and uh, doing a uh, Let's talk open about heart this. surgery I'm for the Tin Man. Can you just pose with it? Yeah. Just pose with it. Uh, there you go. There's your heart. Put it right by your heart there. Okay. All right. We'll just put it off to the side here. And this was done probably like... Uh, uh, this was done probably like 15 years ago. But that's me as the Tin Man. And then we ended up sort of busting into one of our songs. You know. Conduct open heart surgery. The sil Sing a song if you'd like, John. All right. Being the patient. All right, let's, uh, Tin Man's got a song. Okay, you ready, Christian? <laughs> okay, you got two minutes. Okay, here we go. <laughs> this is the song. And yeah, so that was sort of what that's like. Um, yeah, uh, little, little 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 YouTube statistics for you guys, really quick. Um, number of, of of monthly active YouTube users two billion. Uh, total number of daily active YouTube users thirty million. You know, uh, average mobile viewing session forty minutes. Number of videos watched per day one billion. Um, okay, this is my favorite. Hours of videos uploaded per minute, 500. 500 hours uploaded per minute. I mean, come on. I mean, what are we supposed to do with this information? You know, I like to tell my students that in the information age, the job of the teacher is just to help you navigate the information, you know. I mean, because it's just, we could spend our, all of our whole lives watching YouTube and still not see everything. It's just scary. Um, so, yeah. So, okay. So, uh, so the first track um, on the album is by a guy, uh, Ronald Jenkins. And I'll just, this isn't the track that's on the album, but um, he, he's talking about, um, he, was a, he just does like keyboard jams in his bedroom. And he's one of the, like, the more earlier sort of viral YouTube stars. And uh, I remember learning about him like back in 2009 or something. And uh, he's just really cool. Uh, I love this guy and really positive. And this is a really good example of like him and his, and his work. And he's talking about, um, I guess that he did like uh, something for an ESPN podcast. Somebody heard his music for some, I don't follow sports, but some ESPN podcast he's talking about. So this gives you a good idea of, of who he is. So the first track is... is uh, first of all... Here we go. Hello, YouTubes. He says, hello, um, YouTubes. First of all, thanks to Tony and Bill Simmons for all the hits that you've directed towards my videos. You're, you must be a popular dude because they jump up in like in the tens of thousands every time you link. And uh, thanks a ton for that. Uh, Bill Simmons works for ESPN. He's also named the Sports Guy, and he writes a comical sports column. It's pretty fun to read, actually. Um, and thanks to all his fans. Y'all are Y'all have all been real nice and encouraging, and uh, that's really helping me push to get this CD done. This song is for his 30-second intro of his podcast. Uh, maybe it'll work for it, maybe it won't. But I'm having a ton of fun with it, so I thought I'd go ahead and record. And uh, it's, it's, it's very early in the stages of developing it, but it's got a real dirty sound, like a rusty steak knife cutting through a, a well-aged... Steak. Think about that when you hear this bass line. You know, it make a sense. <laughs> Quite an analogy, but hey, check it out and have fun. And he's got this infectious laugh. Yeah. Oh, he 
it's doing the stuff in his bedroom. stages of that song, but man, it's fun. I don't even care. But uh, y'all give me some feedback. If you don't like it for a podcast, that's cool. Because it'll still go on a CD. But uh, anyways, thanks again, y'all. Peace out. Yeah, and he's always talking about having too much fun. Uh, but uh, this is what I love about YouTube, you know. It really, it really sort of bred this kind of uh, I mean, how else would, how else would, would, before how else would these sort of people be able to have a, a platform? I mean, I think before that was, was public access television, but this really opened up so many more venues. Um, so, so Weezer did a little homage to Ronald Jenkins in this, which was sort of like their only good song in the last like 20 years, maybe Pork and Beans, sort of good song, but they do this kind of homage to Jenkins in the beginning there, where he looks into the camera like that. Um, and this is sort of like about failed YouTube stars. This came out like 10 years ago. I don't know if anybody's seen this one. It's kind of cool. They, they take these sort of failed YouTube stars and then recast them in this video. Like the Chocolate Rain guy is like singing the, the lyrics of this guy is, is, you know, comes back and kicks some butt. So this is their Ronald Jenkins, you know. And it, it ends with this. It ends with this. With him beating the let's see where's the I like when the I like when the the um oh here 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 I like when he gets to kick some ass you know you have to leave Britney alone I mean, it's funny to, to see this stuff now because it, it seems so dated, you know. Um, okay, so, yeah, next one, next up on the uh, YouTube anthology is a guy I've been following again for the last, like, 15 years uh, named DeForney, D4NNY. And, uh, uh, you know, I, I would find this stuff, before tr cringe video compilations were happening, you would just get on these sort of college websites like E-Bombs World or something, and this was like, you know, the, 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 it would be like worst music video ever or something, you know. So that's how I found out about him. And this, this song is like, when I want to get pumped, you know, I'll listen to this. And this is Anything Is Possible by DeForney. And, uh, and he's, he's selling candy bar. Okay. Yeah. He's he's British. I think, and I, think he's, I think he's Lebanese actually. But he lives in Britain. Be stronger than your excuses. <laughs> anything, anything is possible. Yeah. yeah. Never stop, stop chasing, chasing your, your dreams, dreams and hopes. Don't care what, don't care what anybody says. 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 No, no more. No more. No more. Anything is possible. Anything is possible. When you don't, when you don't give, give up, up, you don't give up. I don't see why. I don't see why. Stop you don't, you don't stop start trying. trying. <laughs> don't, don't stop trying. Never stop chasing your dreams and hopes. Don't care what anybody says. No more. No more. Anything is possible when you don't give up. Don't give up. I don't see why you stop trying. Never stop trying. Yeah. One, two, here we go. Let me go. Check out my flow. My life is under control. If you know why, you can name me Shibu. Yeah, so. 
<laughs> you get the idea there. I love this guy. Um, okay, so next up is, um, again, I found out about this guy, you know, worst music video ever. Uh, I'll show, th these are not necessarily the worst music videos ever when I found them, but I ended up finding another video and then finding these other videos. So this is a guy named James Knight, and I don't even know where he's from. I, I think he's somewhere from the South. Um, I describe, uh, I describe him as, uh, let's see in my, in my liner notes, um, uh, a relationship ballad in the style of Ween's early love songs fronted by a more hard living Axl Rose. So, um, and this one has a little, a little, uh, short film sort of beginning to it that I really love. So here we go. Um, yeah. This, is it. this one's called Fallen, A Night to Remember. Really love this one. And, and that's one thing about this stuff. I like, I, I really, really love this stuff, you know. It's trashed all over again. I can't clean this is very American. It's very clean to me. Now you're going to clean it right now. Get busy. So a short, minute, a short soon. film that's on his uh, YouTube page that's 30 minutes long. Um, it's all sort of devolved in Man into Mandela effect conspiracy videos. Now that's really all he does now. He doesn't do music. It's all Mandela. Mandela So I think this this would be hard to um, interpret even if you're an American. So, I you know I uh, yeah. Um, and there was there was one guy on there. I, I have like some some of the comments that I sort of collaged into the liner notes. But there's one guy in there that says in the comments, use it to clean your clean out your ferret cage too. And I said, yeah, the cage in the backyard with the ferret that doesn't have his glands taken out this is pungent stuff for sure because parrot uh, ferrets need to actually have an actual um surgery to get their glands taken out or else you can't even be around them in, in your house so ferrets are illegal in california but um but legal in nevada so a lot of people have ferret pets bring them from 
So yeah, so I've been around a few ferrets in my day. <laughs> okay, so another thing I got really into was uh, crop circle conspiracy stuff. I think crop circles are sort of, you know, one of the most beautiful hoaxes uh, I can ever think of. And in some ways, one of the most beautiful artworks. Um, and uh, anyways, apparently uh, there's some uh, musical notation that had been found in, in crop circles. Sadly, crop circles are not as big of a thing because the guy apparently who was doing the really big crazy ones eventually got too much hay fever or started suffering too much from hay fever. But, um, but he's never came forward and we've, we've never really known who, who was doing the crop circles. But anyways, this is a song that, um, this is probably, like I say on my liner notes, the loneliest, uh, the loneliest track on the album in the sense that uh, this page only has two subscribers and they only, uh, they only uploaded this one song. So they, they obviously made their page for this one song, but uh, it's called the Diatonic Crop Circle Song and it's about the musical notation found within crop circles and supposedly uses the notation from the crop circles. This is what this is like. Here we go. In the grain fields of England and America each summer, there appeared the most beautiful crop circles. In the universe. Look at that one, guys. Those are people. The Look how big that said, one is. The triple Julia and the Catherine Wheel, too. Their magnificence was unsurpassed. But who made them? No one knew. <laughs> so, who made those crop circles? Really good. Yeah, and um, so anyways, they, they sing about uh, a guy named Gerald Hawkins, and um, Gerald Hawkins uh, was an astronomer uh, who actually, uh, well, he was the chair of the, de of the astronomy department at Boston University, and he was a guy who wrote a book about Stonehenge in the 70s that was the first to propose that Stonehenge was a calendar, um, and, uh, and then he got into to researching crop circles because a lot of them take place, or a lot of them uh, end up happening around around uh, Stonehenge and uh, Salisbury Hill and things like that. So here's here's uh, Gerald Hawkins, and they're singing in that song about Gerald Hawkins, him talking about finding musical notations in the crop circles, and I just love this guy. Look how cool this guy is. The question, what is your theory about crop circles? I have no theory. The work is in progress. The game is afoot. I will show you what I have found by mathematical analysis. As you know, the current view in the media is that the circles are made by human hoaxes. And in that case, what I am studying is what we would call He's the, intellectual, the, the profile intellectual profile of the hoaxers. Of the hoaxers. Or hoaxers. <laughs> you see, look, those two lines fit that circle. This line here fits that circle. You can draw a nice little box around that circle. You can analyze this, and you get uh, the note G in the second octave for the ratio of this circle to this circle. And then from the sector diagram, you get a ratio of uh, 4. So you've got G in the second octave and C in the second octave. You've got a chord. So you see, the hoaxes are very geometrically minded, and so far they have not deviated from Euclid. When this came, I gave up. <laughs> yeah. So really cool uh, video with him talking about that. But um, he was quoted in saying, um, let's see, what does he say here? Um, the music he was observing wasn't music to the ear. It wasn't anything you'd want to sit over dinner with. It didn't really sound pleasant, he said. So... Um, but, uh, yeah, there's been some really cool moments in crop circle history. This is probably my favorite. There was this giant uh, classic gray alien crop circle. Uh, and then there was this disc that ended up being binary code. And in the binary code, somebody, somebody looked into the binary code, and it turns out that there was a poem in it. Uh, and, uh, and this is sort of, it's such a cool, you know, in terms of an artwork, 
what a cool artwork. Uh, and so, the, so once they cracked the binary code or you know decoded it, it says, "Beware the bearers of false gifts and their broken promises. Much pain, but still time." Believe there is good out there. We oppose deception. Conduit closing. Wow, what great artwork, man. Um, okay, so so next up is, and this is kind of the reason I really wanted to do this, because this guy is like one of my favorite um, musicians of all time. So uh, does anybody know Light in the Attic uh, Records that does reissues? Yeah. Um, so they reissued this guy's stuff um, called Lewis. And the story was that uh, some record collector in Canada found um, these records and uh, nobody knew what they were. And people even thought they were a hoax. But it turns out it was this guy that was a stockbroker in the 80s in LA that did two albums um, and uh, I described them let's see how did I describe them here um, uh, yeah I, I said it's uh, combined stylings of Jandek, Angelo ba Badlamenti and Nick Drake uh, so the guy who did you know Twin Peaks um, and so they reissued these things and uh, it's like this this is his, this is his 1983. This is the first album that they reissued. Like to see you again. Louis La, La Amour. Is the, La Amour is the name. And this is the, the cover of him. He has this really crooner sort of. Beautiful stuff. Um, and yeah, and uh, yeah, so Light in the Attic, um, one of the, they, they re-release a bunch of stuff. Uh, one of my favorite things they did was the Native North America Volume 1, Aboriginal Folk and Country, so all Native American uh, folk music, 1966 to 1985. They've only done the Volume 1 so far. That's a really cool project they did. Um, so the second album of Lewis's, they also released Romantic Times. There he is with some private jet and stuff in an all-white suit. This is a really cool album, too. Uh, this is what it sounds like. Yes. Uh, so I actually bought this album here at 12 Toner. They were it selling it. Like yeah, totally. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, people thought it was a hoax because it sounded sort of so contemporary. Um, I actually bought this one here at 12 Toner, and Anar was, like, impressed, you know, that I, that I knew it. But um, anyways, yeah. So um, anyway, so they tracked him down, and uh, they tracked him down in Canada, Light in the Attic, and, uh, you know, had this whole interview with him. They finally found him. They couldn't find him. They finally found him. And uh, they offered him a $20,000 check of residuals. And he says, no, it's not about the coin. And he didn't take the, didn't take the money. Um, but he's still recording music. And uh, so when they tracked him down, they found some, some of his newer recordings. And, uh, but they, they said they didn't like him. So they didn't want to put out a, a, third, a third album of his more contemporary stuff. So I have two of his songs on this album. And this is his more contemporary stuff. So this was uploaded 2015. This song is called I Was Not Shy. This is probably my favorite. So this would definitely fall into the unrequited love, you know. I Was Not Shy. So beautiful. So this is not, not released at all, you know, just on YouTube. A bit more rough. When I was about loving you, so beautiful. I was not, I was not shy, shy about loving you. Anyways, really nice stuff. So that 
that one's on the album and uh yeah and then uh and then and then, and then i end the first side with another deforni uh his 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 inspirational motivation talk you know um, so here he is saying, you know, there's a pencil, right? Uh, so Deforni, Deforni's, uh, sorry, I thought I had preloaded all the ads. Um, Deforni's, uh, uh, catchphrase on his YouTube page is the grind don't stop. So this is really the, the grind What's don't stop on, right here. So my fans on Twitter have requested me to do a motivation video. I was like, why not do a motivation video? So he wants to do a motivational video. Here you go. Here you go. This is like when I'm. When I really need, when I'm really feeling like my art career is going nowhere, Guys, I'll put this on. You know, we're all going to make it. All together. All together. I don't know you. I don't know you. And you don't, and know, you don't know me. But one thing. But I one know thing I know. That it's not over. It's not over. Until we win. Until we win. We are not going to quit. We are not losers. We're not losing. We are gonna try so hard. So, anyways, that's that, that ends the the first side there, and I kind of cut the the beginning off there. And so, on the second side, we have another Lewis from that same from the newer stuff, sitting by the riverbank. This is Lewis. He also goes by Randy Duke. Or goodbye, goodbye to, to the, the people, people who hated, hated on, me. on me. Goodbye, goodbye to, to the people, people who trust loved who loved me. me. Goodbye to the people who trusted me. Goodbye, goodbye, everybody. Goodbye to the people who hated on me. Goodbye to the people who loved me. Goodbye to the people who trusted me. Goodbye, goodbye to everybody. Now I need some changes in my life. Now I need to move on in life. Now it's time to say goodbye. Goodbye, goodbye to everybody. Goodbye to the people who hated on me. Goodbye to the people who loved me. Goodbye to the people who trusted me. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye everybody. Goodbye to the people who hated on me. Goodbye to the people who loved me. Goodbye to the people who trusted me. Goodbye, goodbye to everybody. Right now, my life is few It's like, ow, I don't know how To explain this, I don't know why It's happening to me, but I just realize I'm not the person I used to be Now I just wanna leave This city, this bullshit Is not gonna happen again Goodbye to the people who Yeah! Oh, we've all been there uh, okay, so next one up is James Knight, you know, the one who did uh, Fall in the Night to Remember. This again was like how I learned about him. It was like worst music video ever. Um, it, it, it features a really nice floating keyboard here. This one's a six minute song. This is probably one of my favorite songs um, from the collection. So, yeah, but this was like, you know, worst music vi video ever on like. E bombs world or, or one of these really collegiate fraternal websites that you don't sort of get as much anymore but let's see sorry i thought i had them all preloaded but i don't know doesn't is this one selling ads too yeah i guess maybe 100 and let me see if i can get it going here yeah well All right, here we go. We seem to have lost the internet connection or something.
Huh. It's acting really weird. Did you lose the? Yeah. Oh. It's back now. It sort of just kept chopping it down. Weird. I would like to introduce. Whoops. Okay, here we go. Yeah. Questions. Yeah. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, uh, so, I mean, this is the, the last event of the Radwort set, no, no. but and I have some Radwort stones over there, if someone wants. Uh, maybe, maybe they're free today. My they will. Free? You can go inside the bar or something if you want some of that. Send me a hot dog, Alki. Cool. Really love this ballad. This is just so beautiful. There's the floating, the floating Casio. I really love that effect. It's just to me it's just so pure you know it's like um okay and so so this guy he did like a cut really nice you know talk about folk music actually the actual genre that is folk music he did like a idea really beautiful um and then and then i end with uh, uh, uh one of the few times that ronald jenkins sings and he's sort of crying and in, in his bedroom and doing this really beautiful Point song you get yeah. the keyboard hit a lot of people are talking about like a mr rogers song if everybody knows mr rogers which unfortunately not many people in the know mr rogers but Who knows about this lie? Who knows about this lie? I don't even know. I don't even know. Well, with everything I see. Everything I see. Here and there. Here and there. You just walk outside and you see nature. You walk outside and you see nature. I've got reasons to go outside. I've got reasons to go outside. 
just $67. Wow. You can make as many videos as you want, and you never need to pick up a camera. See? Or you, you don't even need to pick up a camera. I've got raisins to go to the grocery store. i got raisins store. to go to the grocery store. I've got raisins to get on the road and take a little drive. I've got raisins to go on the road and take a little drive. I've got raisins to be me. I've got raisins to be me. You've got raisins to be you. You've got raisins you. to be you. <laughs> But each one of us are a little bit different. But each one of us are a little bit different. But you can't hate other people because they're different. You can't hate other people because they're different. Or they might hate you back. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Life's all about humor. It's all about friendships. It's all about friendships. People you meet. People you meet. Yeah, so I love that one. And that's, again, you know, just digging deep into his YouTube page and finding that. Um, and then, you know, what, what would be in the next volumes? Um, I was thinking of doing one, like, about anger or one about sort of bureaucracy or songs born of anger or some songs born of bureaucracy or I, I don't even know what this one to fit into, but I couldn't fit into this collection, but I, I really love this one. My vagina ain't handicapped. This is a really cool rap right here. This one I really love, but I don't know what, what collection it would fit into. My vagina ain't handicapped, vagina ain't handicapped, so what I can't walk. My vagina ain't handicapped, vagina ain't handicapped, vagina ain't handicapped, vagina ain't handicapped. voice is high when I talk about my vagina ain't handicapped. I don't keep it real, you know I gotta keep it real, laughing at the hoochies that are walking in their heels. My links don't yeah. want to be honest, what's the deal? Yeah, this is a real shiro here. Um, you know, and but 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 this to me, this is the dream of YouTube. You know, really, I mean, and this is this is so specific to YouTube. Here's another one, and I don't mean to get too too dark, but here's a guy did a, a rap about his father's suicide. Kid who did a rap about his father's suicide. Hey guys, my name's Hayden, and today I'm rewriting about my dad. Uh, I miss him a lot, and I'm rap Um, here you go. Everybody watching, it's my story. It's about me, my dad, my life together. That was fun. It's over. It was a Sunday afternoon. My dad was watching a movie. I was sitting on the couch, hella damn moody. My dad was so drunk, he couldn't even think. He had a Glock on his side. My grandma came home, they started arguing. They pulled a gun, pow, pow, there he goes, goodbye, damn it. Dad, I miss you, I can't do nothing without you. You took your life, you could've had a wife, but you didn't, damn it. Because you were too busy drinking beer, now I'm facing all your fears. The cops came, they told me you were dead. Dad, I miss you, why can't you come back? Why can't God bring you back, but he can't, damn it. Fast forward, five months later, I'm with my mom. No father, just me, my brother, and my mother. I started a new school, I hated it. People started calling me annoying and saying other mean shit. I didn't have many friends, I had bad grades. People wanted to play other people. I thought it was wrong, I started swearing and being mean to people. I was never like that when I was with my dad. I wasn't glad, I was fucking mad. I started finding other people, why did God make me like this? God fucking answer me, I need your damn help in this life. Dad, I need you, you're my whole life, why do you care? So I got a fucking toy, so I'm watching you when you did it. I saw blood all over the place, you will not be replaced. I knew you were going through hard times. I know it's a disgrace. I might talk a lot and act like I'm happy, but on the inside, I'm actually fucking crying. My dad had a bad past. His dad died in a car accident. When he was 10, he was raped again and again. He was in fucking Virginia at damn 10. He wasn't even a teenager then. When he, he was in the mid 20s, he tried to kill himself with a knife. It's fucking suicide. And he threatened to kill my mom. But he was sober. He was so calm. He was life of the party. Well, that's what my mom said. I still got memories of me and my dad in my head. I miss you, dad. Yeah, so this is like, you know, to me, this is like really. What? Huh? Yeah, I know, right? Yeah. Uh, and I'll just end on a positive note. This is the last one I'll, sh uh, fun one. This is the last one I'll show. Has anybody seen the, the B of A? Uh, 
uh, one bank, uh, Bank of America. Uh, these are like these like corporate guys at some like corporate meeting, and they end up singing a a, a version of um, <laughs> of of U 2s one, but they change all the lyrics to be about Bank of America. It's a really good one. Here, I'll end to with this one. Introduce. But this could also be something um, on the, the some next, guests. Who have, uh, uh, the next. It's so uh, impressed you know, with volume. your results to date. They've listened to the plans. This here we go. Put a little song together for you. So, gentlemen, please come up. It is even better. Now that we're the same Two great companies come together <laughs> Now MB and A is B of A And it's one bank One, bank. one card One card One name one, one that's name known that's all, all over the, the world. world One spirit, one spirit. We get to share it, leading us all to higher standards. Leading us all to higher standards. Ooh. Mm. <laughs> Do you like, like the, the, cowboys? Game, the Cowboys? Or your university? Or your university? Do you like the you like Yankees? Yankees? Or is NASCAR more your speed? Well, well it's your choice, your choice. Your right, your right to pick a card that, that shows your heart, heart and your pride. And your pride. We're, one we're one with affinity, and we'll carry each other, carry each other. Whoa. Have you come to meet Bruce Hammonds? Have you come to meet Liam McGee? Have you heard about Michelle Shepard? She's leading the team in the Northeast. And we've, and we've got Bank One on the run. What's in your wallet? It's not Capital One. It's us. <laughs> so which card are you? Integration's never had us feeling so good. And we'll make, make lots, lots of money, money forever. Can sing about trust and anything anyways you get the idea so thank you guys um i was gonna see if anybody wanted to just if we're hanging out put up their own you know maybe somebody knows about their own weird youtube songs yeah, or something and yeah cool because so thank she you guys me, she asked me like where are the women so i have one oh yeah well we have the vagina ain't handicapped but yeah there was there was not not that many women good question that's why I did the vagina aid handicap, you know. There's so that one woman who sings the crop circle song, but she's with like her boyfriend or whatever. You know? <laughs> her husband. I love her. I just what want to say I love her. I love this song. I don't know. It's like it's like a girl from Detroit. I mean, like she seems she grew up in a quite like tough neighborhood so she speaks about like what happens like the people that have been lost around in the neighborhood so it's quite like yeah intense but at the same time is i love it i just love it well, I was it helmingur er nú so. kynntur so, so she's called t baby yeah she's called t baby i love it <laughs> It's so time in the day. How the fuck do we possibly? 
Yeah, I mean, of course, there's a whole Icelandic genre too, Maggie Mix and cool. Beyonce and all that stuff. And, you know, yeah, that yeah. stuff's really cool too. There's I didn't one. even mention any of that, but I like to learn about the weird Icelandic stuff too. But mm -hmm. I only really know Beyonce and Maggie Mix. You know? Uh, yeah. Beyonce and Maggie Mix. They're like this, yeah. Accentics. They're kind of the two, right? Aren't they? Yeah. In terms of, is this it's, it's similar? Is this Icelandic or? So uh, maybe maybe I'll do a little. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Introduction. Yeah. We got another video coming up. Uh, there's this uh, thing. Um, we are like a group of friends who gather sometimes to watch uh, this guy's channel, Orange Stoneface. His name is uh, Lofter, and he's like uh, eccentric, in like a uh, the outsider, yeah. artist too in 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 Iceland. How do you say it in Icelandic? Um, uh, like outsider, utankar uh, list. Uh, and uh, so we found this video where he is uh, he, because he, he does a lot of this like webcam uh, looks at just points the some cheap webcam at him himself and he does all kinds of weird shit in front of the camera and he's very original and we got um, very impressed by his video called Bio Bab Verra where he is 
listening to some kind of uh, some Brazilian song and he's like making up Icelandic lyrics which sound like the Brazilian <laughs> kind of like into the return to center it's through Tona Santi like that kind of uh, so it's what what do you say the fjols fjols I don't know <laughs> how to say this like uh, so so the sounds the same like the lyrics in Icelandic to the Brazilian ones so here he is let's just get into this here can I get this louder maybe we might need to turn it, to up, turn it up on the actual computer um, yeah let's do that is the I think I got to go into preferences so yeah um, we've been watching this video I don't know it's got fi uh, 660 view three views now I don't know how many no it's, oh, it's up this, all is, the way. this is our uh, our views <laughs> yeah, let's escape into the U-turns. Is that it for good? It's kind of like babbling. It's just making this... Uh, in the background there is like this Brazilian you can hardly hear it because he is listening to it himself. When was this uploaded? This is uh, yeah, it's it's pretty old. He's still making stuff. So here comes Bio Bob. So, and he starts singing these like weird lyrics. Here are we a lingra. He says some like things that aren't Icelandic words. Can't take a lingra. Can't take a lingra. Have I got panic? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Er, hætta hækka þessi móðurinn. Yeah. Well, uh, but the main, yeah, it's pretty low. But so, uh, I just want to add to this, uh, to this lovely. Introduction. Do you know if we could turn it up on this on this, of, here. Of, of this YouTube folk anthology because and we started just we we picked up his lyrics and wrote them down and edited it a bit. Don't bother, you need a school to turn it and and we made a, a, a song together from from his lyrics. But his lyrics are actually like tran like weird translations of the Brazilian ones. Yeah. So uh, then we stole his his lyrics and made a, a, a song oh. uh, yeah so that's uh, that's, uh, that's part, part of the story gentilegasta spurning dagsins hvað er í matur okay nam so we made some you know a song called bio bab i'm not going to play this for you i'm not trying to get myself a lot into this <laughs> but no, you should. But we, we sampled his uh, singing a bit into the song and uh, the lyrics are actually just what he said in his video. And then we ran into him in the street sometime and uh, Lofter, the, the, the eccentric, and we told him that, hey, um, we are big fans of your uh, YouTube page and we actually like took your lyrics and put them to our song and we are releasing it. We must talk to you to get like uh, you know sign this with a copyright thing and like and it's even kind of weird because it's not is it his lyrics you know he's imitating the Brazilian ones it's kind of a funny thing like then then we steal it from him it's, it's a bit like copying from Arrow you know because it's already kind of adjusted something uh, imagery that we then kind of steal. 
but we we let him know and asked if we could. Uh, yeah, I don't really want to play this song. You can check it out by yourself if you want. To. No, you should play it. But, but it's still, yeah, it's not, it's not loading other way, so on. it doesn't really matter. But um, really so then, then, then uh, he he kind of uh, belittles this yeah, and and he, and he says it doesn't matter. Like uh, it was just some some YouTube bullshit that I made. And I meet him again, and I say like, "Hey, we really have to do this thing, you know, uh, because you're gonna maybe get some, you know, some money or something, uh, you know." And what did he say? And he said, uh, "No, no, 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 no. Either way, this song is never gonna fly. So <laughs> <laughs> you, you can just keep it." And I even tried for the third time. And he's like, no, 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 no. He doesn't want to, want to see it. But then he made like some other videos with phrases for techno songs, which we thought meant to have maybe, maybe we inspired him to do more like YouTube stuff to be sampled. And I recommend his uh, his, his YouTube channel. It's got it's, it's full of good things that actually he giving away to other musicians who would <laughs> run out of ideas. You know. Is he still doing that? <laughs> Like yeah, yeah. And he was in the Jonsi video the other day too. He's oh, like, okay. uh, yeah. it was a pretty, uh, like, for yeah. uh, one in the foreground there. Right, yeah. But that guy, the one, the guy who did the video that, with all the homeless people? Yeah, yeah. yeah the, and that, that, that director, is, he does a lot of like, DIY, yeah. sort of outsider videos, right? So, yes. The guy who did that, yeah. And I haven't seen his videos until now. Um, He's, he's, he's made some good yeah, yeah. videos, I think. Yeah, 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 I just started seeing some of those, it's so cool. And then, like... Yeah, some... So, so, I'll just skip to the parts here. And he's singing there in the back of this sample. 